I'm going to cover how to remove your stock from the Daisy 853C. First what you need to do, you have your front and rear screws. You need to remove these two. The center one, it just holds your spacer. This one right here, you don't have to remove that. So get your trusty screwdriver and loosen off one rear screw. Just, leave, just loosen it, you don't have to remove it. Then remove your front. I find that uh, if you just use your thumb, it, there's enough pressure there usually remove it. Now notice I'm coming in to the side opposite of that of the caulking handle because the nut is on the side of the caulking handle. Now if you're finding your thumb doesn't have enough pressure then all you have to do is grab two screwdrivers take one from one side and one from the other. Of course it's a little bit more difficult. Now if you notice I'm not using a power drill. I'm using a just hand tools. The reason you don't want to use a power drill is because the Phillips on the Phillips tend to strip. Now you're thinking, what? What? Phillips? They strip? That's a lie. No, no, they tend to strip. When America learns how to reverse and engineer the Robinson screw and adopts it widely, then maybe we'll get more luck with that. So there you go. Now after you guys screw out, you got to get a punch and punch out your nut. There you go. So that's the, so you have this one removed, this one loosened off. Open up your cocking handle and put your safe, your safety, put it on half on fire, half on safe. Not on fire, not on safe. Halfway in between. And just lift it up. Your spacers will fall out. Also too, you have a barrel clamp right here that might fall off or stay on. Not a big deal. Now if you're just removing the stock for repair, uh, that's about as far as you need to go. There's one small thing I want to bring to your attention. and this is the two, we have two screws here. This is the old style and this is the new. The actually the old style I find a little bit superior because what happens is when you unscrew this, it might come off in two pieces, right? And it'll still be stuck up here. Now I just have to grab a small wrench and just remove that last little bit and reconnect them for you don't lose the two pieces. Right, but this is the one piece system on this one. So if you notice the screw still, oh, it was there still in there. So there you go, that's as close far as you go. Now, if you remove the stock and the stock's broken and, you need, and you're putting on a new one, what you need to do is salvage for parts. And what you have here is, you have your spacer here, just remove this just like the other one. And at the back here, you have your butt plate and screws. One small thing, uh, they're long. As much as say don't use a power drill, you might want to use a power drill for these. Now, put on lowest, lowest setting, or use one of those El Cheapos. I have an El Cheapo that runs on like 4C batteries, uh, or 4 AA batteries. It, it kind of does the job. you got to be careful because they still can strip. I'm not going to demonstrate that. Uh, I don't have, have no interest of uh, ripping off my, my arm there, but that's how you do that. All right? That's how your stocks are replaced. Check out the, the other videos, how to put the stock on, do repairs. Also, check out bbgunrepairhq.com. Tell us what other repair videos you'd like to see.